No, a great day at the office for us up at, up at Preston Lodge. Uh, final score was was thirty two five, and that 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 probably flattered us, if I'm honest. Um, we we just didn't really didn't look like ourselves. Uh, we were our, our play was slow. Our you know our, our ability to organise was slow. We we used lineouts and scrums to slow the tempo down. Um, we had we had boys that would usually um, be really effective clearers missing clearouts or you know being being late to late to breakdowns and you know PL probably did to us what we wanted to do to them play you know multi phase multi pass game and we struggled out in the edge. We had a really really young backline. Both centres out from the week before, and uh, we lost Hamish Barber pretty early on. So Buster Davidson came onto the wing, and uh, he was great. Buster was great defensively; he was he was solid. But our inability to fold quickly put our outside backs under real pressure. John Gray was was yellow carded for putting the the ball carrier past 180 degrees. That that didn't help things. Uh, we had to pull Ewan Jackson off, who who was awesome yesterday. He was a real warrior yesterday. Um, to bring Andrew Brown on to to shoot up the scrum, we we probably struggled up front the first twenty. But but like I said, look, we're a fit side um, and a and a, a backer ability to grow into a game. But when you when you give the opposition a twenty point lead, it's all it's always going to be difficult. We managed to limit all all our PL scores in the first half out in the touchlines to, to make the kicks difficult, which which again is is a small positive we can take from that. But then about ten minutes before half time, R- Rob Harrison was yellow carded, and if I'm if I'm honest, I'm not really sure what it was for. The ball was at the breakdown. The referee clearly said balls out. Rob picked it up. He, he gave Rob the yellow card. So we were a wee bit we were a wee bit confused by that and and a few other decisions that were made. Um, we're 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 not using that as an excuse. But we didn't manage the referee well. We were speaking to him before the game. He told us what he was going to look out for, and we and we didn't do that. But look, we we grew into the game. The last twenty, we we started to play really positive second man plays, where we're, we're going out the back. We're trying to build a bit of momentum and get get some positive contacts up the touchline so that we can earn the right to go through the middle, rather than the other way around. You know, Penny Pitts a quite a narrow pitch, um, and and they they're just quite happy to soak off one out runners. But you know that that's not what we're about. There is a time and place to be physical, um, and to challenge defenders, but. We never really felt like we had that energy yesterday, but we finished really strongly. And look, losing's part of the process. We'll we'll learn a lot from looking at this, looking at the looking at the game, and I've learned a lot about my players and probably about myself as well. But look, we um, the boys have they've reacted really well to the defeat. Um, we gave them we gave them twenty minutes to to be in a half about it, and then they've just got to get on with it. They've got to, just got to flush it. And look, hopefully we can bring a bit of energy and look at what we're going to do going into next week at home against Newton Stewart, where we should have club captain Neil Hogarth back. Murdo Anderson will come into the squad. Uh, Scott Stoddart will come back into the squad. Jack Harrison and Adam McDonald will be will be available again. And there's uh, there'll be a few there'll be a few candidates to step up from the the Reds. Um, but look, positive performances from Ross Brown, from Ewan Jackson, from Dave Collins, uh, young Frey McKeever. He made a, made a few excellent line breaks on, on counter-attack. Uh, Lewis Copeland, who came on at tight head prop, he was, was really solid. And I think um, look, he's been doing a lot of a lot a lot of throwing practice over the last wee bit, and it's not it's not it's not his strength. Um, we probably struggled yesterday not having a, an out and out hooker. But Lewis has probably found his position at, at prop tight head prop because in that last twenty we felt we should have had should have had multiple scrum penalties. Positive finish to the game, and if we're if we're looking at performance, um, a good a good twenty minute period, a good sort of ten minute period at the start of the game. Um, but looking forward to next week's training and and uh, linking up with the boys and the little conversations that we'll have.